Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Carly and what I am doing today is an unboxing. I am super excited for this. Um, I have been looking for a new budget planner for a while. Um, I was using, see if I can get this without jostling the camera too much, um, an Erin Condren budget book. And while I really like this, I've been looking for something a little different. And I considered getting the coiled version of the Erin Condren budget book, but after really looking at it, there were some things in it that I kind of wished it had that this does. So I'm going to get into this. I want to say I have ordered two different things from Clever Fox. This is the second one, and they both come very well packaged. So the box itself was, so this box was in this wrapping which was in another box that actually is the one that shipped from Amazon because where I ordered it from was through Amazon. And then you open this up and the planner itself is also in a wrapping. So, I mean, th that just really blows my mind about how well packaged this is. Um, the thing I also like about Clever Fox is that you get, make sure I'm in frame, is that you get this little, um, kind of like a, a, a quick start guide, basically. It, shows you what's in here and how you can use it, gives you examples, and um, I just love this. It just gives you ideas. Um, like for me, in my mind, one thing I like on this is for the expense tracker, they skip a line each day, which for some reason, it never occurred to me to do that. Like I literally just keep dating, like I don't skip a line, but I might actually do that because it'll help differentiate between um, what was actually both the different days and everything on what day and all that. So I do like that. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put this aside for now and we'll go ahead and get into this. So again, it does come with this really good sturdy box and I've actually, um, I'm, re I'm reusing one of mine. I don't know where it's at at the moment, <laughs> but I am reusing it. It's just really, really good quality. Um, you always, I believe you always get stickers. Um, so you, I got two sheets of stickers here. I really like these. I will more than likely definitely use these. I love good budget stickers. Um, I don't always use stickers nowadays, but if I do, typically the ones I've been using normally are the budget ones. Um, so these will definitely be used up. And then this is just a card about a warranty. If um, I don't like the order or whatever, then I have a 60 day to um, get a refund. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. Go ahead and get into this. So this is the medium one. This is an A5. And I sorry, I didn't want to talk over that. Um, they do have a uh, bigger one. Um, I forget the size exactly on what the bigger one is, but this is an A5 size, um, which is perfect for me. It's more portable. It is a wire O binding, which um, I've had one before, but it was an actual planner and I didn't mind it, but I really wanted something that wasn't book bound because I wanted to be able to flip the pan, flip the planner. I can't talk back onto itself. Um, so that's why I, I wanted this. I'm going to go ahead and slide this little thing off here. If I can slide it off, actually, we'll just do that. There we go. And, um, so like I said, it's the medium one. This is the bill organizer. And I got this one specifically for a reason, besides it having the wire O here. Um, I did want this one for a couple of different reasons. So let's go ahead and get into that. And also I will tell you while I'm going through um, why I chose the Clever Fox versus the Erin Condren. So you open this up and you got your name page and everything and found in a reward, which this might come out of the house sometimes, but for the most part, I plan on keeping it here. And I really, really wish this was like, 14 month planner because I really want to start like in November like next month um, But I'm really gonna have to hold back and wait until January <laughs> um, But you do have a place for financial goals here. Um, you have a place for 10 goals And I think it's the same for the most part in the bigger version of this I do know from a flip through a watch because I did watch a couple uh, Videos on a flip through of these because I wanted to see like what was in it to make sure that I would like it and I know in the big one all your goals are on one side, I believe, and then on the right side you have a vision board, which I don't think you have in this, but I'm totally fine with that. 
So you go to the next page and you go right into your month here. So you have, make sure I'm in frame. So you've got a spot here for monthly goals, for four monthly goals, a to-do list, a undated monthly section here, which I love. You have a um, opening balance line here at the very, very top. You have upcoming bills and expenses, income and what the amount is, and the savings and what the amount is for that. One thing that I really wanted that the Erin Condren didn't have was an actual monthly area here. Um, I know, like, for example, in the Petite Planner, um, your first page of the month looks like this. Did I write in this month? I don't think I did. No. So your monthly area looks like this, basically. I know in the Coiled version, you do have a spot to put, like, upcoming bills, like an actual page itself, not just a little section here or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I personally like to have a monthly view, so I'm super happy that this is in here. Um, I also know, as you can see here, a lot of these are already filled in with only like one area to add something else in it if you need to. Um, in the, I believe in the coiled version, again, I'm going off this by memory. It's been a little bit since I've watched the video on the review of the coiled version of the Erin uh, Condren budget. Um, but I think you have a two-page spread and a lot of these are blank or they're all blank if I'm not mistaken. So that's good for that. But in here, you do have the three spots here, upcoming purchases, upcoming bills, and then a savings goal here at the bottom. And then you go into your spending summaries, and then you go into your next month here. So that's kind of how this is. Again, check out some videos. I don't have any, but check out some videos on the budget Erin Condren if you're interested to see what that looks like. But after seeing this, like the videos, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be super duper happy with this. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you why I was swapping from that to this. Um... So after this page, and all that's going to go here on the monthly are bills, paydays, anything like that. So um, anything that has to do with um, any type of bill or paydays, my paydays, my boyfriend's paydays, whatever is going to go here. And then next you have your monthly budget here. So you have a section for home, um, home, food, health care, loans, personal uh, transportation, entertainment, other. You have a spot here for total budgeted, total actual, and then what the difference is. And then at the top here, because you do have your category, and then you have a budgeted section, actual, and then the difference. Um, so I feel like that's very helpful. My problem is, um, my only thing with this is that I have to figure out what's, what needs to go where. So I'm probably going to take a piece of paper, write down the sections and write down what I think would go in like personal, write what I think would go in home. I mean, a couple of these for me are obvious. So transportation would be like gas, car insurance, anything like that. Um, and then food, groceries, eating out, but like home, um, I need to figure out how I want to do that and personal, like what I want to go under and other. And then after this, you have your expense tracker. So you have a spot for your date, the description, the category, and the amount. And I believe Erin Condren's is the same. Yeah, so you have the date, description, category, and the amount, or, or total. So I love this. And you get two full pages, I think. Yeah. So you get one, two, three, four pages here of that. And then at the end here, you go into your monthly budget review. So you have your opening balance, total income, total expenses, what the difference is, total savings, balance forward. Here you have a, my biggest wins this month. Did I meet the budget? If not, why? Did I achieve this month's goals? If not, why? What I learned this month by tracking my expenses and I will do this within one month to improve. So I really like having these questions. I feel like this might actually help me stay on budget. I do tend to overspend sometimes or not really watch what I'm spending. I do only track my spending. Um, I don't have access to my boyfriend's account, which is fine. So I don't really know how he's spending or he doesn't know how I'm spending or anything like that. So I'm really just tracking my stuff. I do go in and put, because he pays certain bills, I pay certain bills. I do go in and put the bills he pays just so um, just so I know when they're due, um, like he pays rent and the phone bill and I do groceries, gas, uh, the gas bill and power and whatnot. So we do split the bills and I do, I, I do just write them in just so I kind of know when they're due. Um, but my favorite part about this is this pocket. Um, I've been looking for something like this 
because I really wanted something to be able to put my bills in because what this is going to be for is bills. Um, I'm going to, whenever they come in, they're immediately going to go here in this pocket. Um, that way I can keep up with everything that is due that month or that we paid that month or that way if I need to look back later at, at a later date and compare or look at something or whatever it's all going to be in one that's really why whenever I saw this book I was like yes I'm totally getting it I'm super excited um by the way quick sidebar this color is dark teal which I absolutely love um I actually had to wait on it because it was out of stock and my phone case is almost the same color so i love this color and i was super excited that it got shipped early because this color was supposed to not be back in stock or i wasn't supposed to get it till the end of november and then i got multiple notifications of um like a change in shipping and everything or uh what the arrival date was supposed to be and i was super excited i was like yes thank you so much i cannot wait to get this i know i can't start using it yet but i, I still wanted to get it look at it get a video up for you guys because I'm so excited to use this. I cannot wait because like I said, I, I really wish it was a 14 month so I could go ahead and start now. Um, but yeah, so I have the pocket for the bills. Sorry, I know I just kind of went off on a tangent, but you know. <laughs> and then each month is a different color. Um, so you got this teal color for the first month and then, I don't know. So you did not have a quote on the first one. Like it immediately went from your financial goals into the month. Um, so after the pocket, you do have a uh, quote page. It looks like the goal isn't more money. The goal is living on your living life on your terms. Love that. And then this month is purple. What I don't get though, what I'm a little confused about, is why you would think that this would match the month coming up. So, anyways, it's not a big deal. But I was a little confused by that. But I do. I'm absolutely super excited to use this. So I do want to show you. Uh, what the pockets look like because I think the design changes yes yeah, so you have this little striped type design here here you get like the purple with the tr little triangles and then you get your quote your life does not get better by chance it gets better by change and then you have this green I think this is green <laughs> you have like a little sprinkled uh, design here Some good things come to those who hustle you get like a pink color penny saved is a penny earned and then you have like a teal color I think it's like a polka dot pocket don't give up what you want most for what you want now that's a good quote and then you got this yellowy color you can't get out of debt while keeping the same lifestyle that got you there that's totally true I need to and what I might do damn I was gonna say um I might tear these out at the end of the year, but it's hooked onto this. So maybe I'll make a copy of it because I like a lot of these quotes. Um, you get like this little seafoam green color, it looks like. You guys, I'm super excited. I'm I, I'm really excited about these pockets because like I said, I was trying to figure out some way that I can keep all the bills together. And I love that it's included in this because um, I can keep the bills here and I can look back at my expenses and look at everything all in one, all together. So goal without a plan is just the wish love that you go to this another type of purple here work in silence let success be the noise blue winner is a dreamer who never gives up I think that's a typo um you got another like a dark purple it's actually really pretty I'm not really sure what color that is, but it's really pretty. I don't know. And I can't always tell if, if the colors are coming off true to camera, like true on camera or not, like from what I'm seeing versus what you guys see. You get in life with you, with, I apparently can't read tonight. You get in life what you have the courage to ask for. You get another, I don't even know what color this is, like a turquoise. It's really pretty though. Stay positive, work hard, make it happen. Get this reddish pink color. A little progress each day adds up to big results. Okay, so then you get into some savings trackers. So you get four, nope, you get eight. So you get uh, different colors and you can um, 
So you have saving for amount needed, what the due date is. You have your date, deposit, and total saved. I don't really know if I'll get much use out of these. I don't typically save for anything specific. I need to, but I don't. But maybe this can kind of help me do that. Like I can probably come up with a couple ideas of things that um, I, I, I can save for and just kind of go from there. So that's not, not a bad idea to have back here. And each one, like I said, is a different color. And then you have depth trackers. You get eight of those as well. Again, all in a different color. You have the debt name, starting balance, minimum payment, date, amount paid, and balance. This is good because I do have some student loans that I'm going to have to pay back. So other than that, I don't really have much debt. Um, uh, you only get 12 spots. So, I mean, it's like per like one per uh month which is fine because i mean i'm i hate that most of this is going to go to waste i might actually tear this out um because i can always trim the edges and um like maybe stick it to something else uh, later down the line or something um who knows so and that's an option like if i ever decide to uh like do like a big uh like uh franken planner type thing then i can have a page to put in and then you have a holiday budget. I like this idea. Um, you got category and expense, budgeted, actual. And it, it does have a couple of um, items here like gifts, uh, wrapping and cards, groceries, and decoration. Plus you have plenty of space to add other things. Down here you got one for holiday gifts. Um, the recipient gift budgeted and then what the actual one was and then over here you have an expense tracker so you have the date description category and the amount which is just like your typical expense trackers that are earlier in the planner and then you have a bill tracker so this is nice um, so you should have enough to go through the whole year and you can put the bill and then um, you can put uh, the month and I guess you could put, like, um, if you paid it or whatever. So that's good. Or, or when it's due. Um, let me see. Like, does it have an example on here? Let's see how they did this. Yeah, so what they did here on the um, little start guide, they put the bill here and then the months across. And then they put how much it is each month. Um, so that's a good idea. Um, that way you can easily keep track of bills and how much they are so you know what's coming up and everything so that's definitely a really good idea for that and then next up you have a summary for the whole year and for this I guess you I'm looking at the thing again <laughs> um, I guess you could yeah so so basically what you do is you pull the information from the front here like from each month and you just kind of tag it here it looks like um, that's a good idea. And that way you can kind of see like what you're spending all in one thing instead of having to flip through each month, find the page and everything. I like this. I like that a lot. And then it looks like you get some dot grid notes pages. So you get one, two, three, four pages of notes here. And then just the back. Um, oh yeah, it's a wire up, So the binding's a little weird. Um, so you gotta close it this way. Um, yeah, you guys, I really like this, and I don't know, I might actually, maybe next year, if this goes well, I might get the bigger one. Um, I just, I wanted the smaller one, because I'm currently on a smaller size, um, kick, like I like the smaller sizes and everything right now. Um, but this is the thickness of it before you start adding bills and everything, and just kind of, um, there you go. Like, like just, you guys can kind of see and because it's on this binding there is room for it to expand I don't know how much it's going to be able to expand with uh, like once you really start putting the bills in here um, but like if it's closed you can definitely tell that the bottom here sticks up higher so hopefully it won't expand too too much once you start putting bills and everything in but you guys I'm super excited for this um, let me see yeah, 12 months. Dang it. I was really hoping for 14, you guys. I'm so excited to start, like, using this and getting into this and everything. But, yeah, so that's what um, this is. If you guys want to see, I might can do a plan with me if that's something you guys are interested in. Like, like maybe do a plan with me with uh, 
these pages here, um, like the monthly and the, and everything, and then the monthly budget. I might could do some plan with me's with that each month possibly and give updates on how it's working um i know as far as the expenses go um that's kind of private so i don't really want to share that but um and i can go over and i can do the monthly uh but part of the budget review as well if that's something you guys are interested in but yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you want to see more of my videos please consider hitting that subscribe button and that little notification bell and if you um like the video just hit that like button for me please if you don't mind and yeah i will see you guys next time thanks guys bye